armed police patrolled a quiet centre of Paris. The attacks in which 129 people lost their lives have been claimed by the so-called Islamic State. It appears there were just seven terrorists. But what do we know about them? One man, aged 29, was born in Paris and has previously been involved in petty criminality. Intelligence services reported he was radicalised, but he wasn't known to be part of a terrorist network. Another was born in 1990, wasn't known previously to police and had a Syrian passport. A Greek minister has said the holder of this passport entered the EU through Greece in October. Belgian media are reporting that three of the terrorists were from Brussels. Prosecutors in France didn't confirm this, but said that a black car used in the attack was rented in Belgium. Premises are being searched there tonight, and three men have been arrested. Around one and a half thousand French citizens are said to be fighting in Syria, more than any other Western country. A similar number are said to be being monitored in France by the security services for alleged extremist links. France has one of Europe's largest Muslim populations, and despite previous tensions over issues like the banning of the veil, today Muslims reacted with horror to the attacks. Don't speak about Islam. Islam, it's got nothing to do with this. We are against what happened. This is not Islam. People in Paris, uh, I think, can do the difference between um, a Muslim and a terrorist. This has been claimed by ISIS, but we need to wait for the results of the investigation to find out what is really the root of this. Paris is in mourning. Its citizens, Muslim and non-Muslim, are waiting to find out. Did the attackers form their plans here in France, or was it conceived abroad in ISIS strongholds? People have been coming here to lay flowers all day. The scene of one of the first shootings, gunmen attacked this bar before crossing the road and opening fire on this Cambodian restaurant, killing at least 12 people. And this terrorist tactic of marauding gunmen moving through a city has been a fear of European security agencies ever since the Mumbai attacks in India. As with previous attacks, it appears that the killers were on the radar of security agencies. They know they are dangerous, but the problem is the degree of danger. And then in democracies, you cannot put people in jail just uh, because uh, you suspect them of being dangerous. So the laws will be more repressive in the future, I think not only in France but all over Europe. One possible opportunity to stop the attackers could have come last week, when a man en route to Paris was arrested in possession of weapons and explosives in Bavaria, although it's not clear he's definitely linked to these attackers. Tonight, police in France and across Europe are racing to find any more of their accomplices.